They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. And when this offense is clicking on all cylinders, the running back is in sync as well. The focal point. Runs, catches, blocks, sets a tone for the offense. strike they'll look to throw and that is incomplete Bryce Butler the intended receiver now fourth down my high school coach John Ford used to say all the time if you're in a bad situation laddie don't compound it with a bad decision as well and I think that's what we just saw there harassed in the pocket and he throws into double coverage anyway he called you laddie he called me laddie and that was the nicest thing he called me Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Offensive starters, here they are. And Delaney Walker, Charles, it's a guy that you and I said we wanted to discuss a bit. Yeah, and we should, because remember, he came out of college as a wide receiver. So he's one of the early guys to move from a wide receiver position to tight end and still run routes as if he were a wide receiver. An excellent target. to throw now in his own end zone. And this one caught by Delaney Walker. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And on the ground they go with a running back. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. yardage on this one back to the 13. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that'll make it third and 13. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Third and long, they'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but 
for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. This is taken at about the 14. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. The New York set to take the field. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. The defense won that play so fast that I think if the running back even had time to notice if anyone was there, it was just a blink of an eye, and there was a loss on the play. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Benjamin with it, over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And Benjamin seems to be in some pain. You see him there, still down. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Let's go! They come out with one back and three tight ends. Here's Blunt. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. They come out here in the eye. They go play action here on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Complete pass brings up second down. Let's go! They're going to look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now Blunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front. Really well done. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. With Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Jets in possession as we begin quarter number two here. They've got it second and four to start things out. Let's go! 
They'll run again with Blunt. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Now a carry for Blunt. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And Captain Zero's kick is right through, and the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. And we were scoreless up until this point in the second quarter. Now we finally have a little action. Let's see where this action takes us. First quarter, no points at all. Now we've got our first score of the game. Well, does that signal that we're going to get more as we go along? Or will it revert back to what we saw in the beginning of the game? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get set to head back out here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Or just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play there. Second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No game, correct? No game. Back to throw now on second and ten. Wide open receiver complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver is going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 20. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the Jets take possession. Now the Jets' offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. He <laughs> put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know about that. It helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one for him. I don't know about that. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Super tough. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. One thing is really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming out of blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. They come up in an offset eye. to throw here. 
He's going to look deep down the field. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly. Just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. So he makes the grab, and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he showed a nice little juke, but then the window quickly closed. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. A good pick up there, 22. So the D-line's going to spread out. Back to throw now on first down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. A gain of six there on first. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. And here comes play number six on this drive. And they'll get him down right around the 16. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and sneak it here. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Well, they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with it back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Here we go! Now they'll run it on the toss. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So the Now another timeout here called by the Titans. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll drop to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. They'll come out in the pistol. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he finds Stills complete. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Kenny Stills, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Here's Chandler Catanzaro for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Now 
Catanzaro after the touchdown to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And the Titans getting set to go. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Another toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. He'll drop to throw, trying to lay one up deep. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Brandon, what we just saw there is something we hear from coaches throughout the league. How are you going to defend what they call the moment of truth ball, meaning a 50-50, the ball's in the air, defender's there, receiver's there. Who's going to make a play on the football? And in this case, the defensive guys actually got it done and knocked it away. They come out five let's wide, go. three of them to the right side. Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to take another shot here. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. In this situation, it's really tough to figure out how to defend because they have plenty of room to still take deep shots at the end zone as they just did there. Yet at the same time, you've got to be ready for the short throw. In this case, when you see the cue that they're going for the end zone, retreat and make sure you have a way to play forward back towards the receiver and have a chance to bat the ball away as they did there. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So out now come the Jets. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. And the offense still has a couple plays to go to pick up the first on second down and three. They come up in an offset eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That'll go as a loss of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. One of the toughest things for an offensive lineman to learn is the ability to get in space and hit people who are moving targets. And linebackers are not easy ones to hit because they know how to move, juke, and make you miss. And that's exactly what he did on that play. A nice play for the defense. They'll set up a throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. 
His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded at the 20. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the ladder 50%. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Now it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves him with seven yards to go on third down. And the offense needs... Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? This one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And they're... Coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Now they'll run it on the toss. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, they know how to protect the pass, but sometimes cornerbacks, they can also stop the run, can't they? Is that what we call a complete corner? Yeah, because we're so used to these guys just being defenders in the pass game. How about the guys who can come up and make the tackles? That's what we just saw there for no gain, too. Defense looking to hold serve one last time here on third and seven. One receiver left, three to the right. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Going for the right side here, complete. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. So here we go, first and 10 now. the gun and this one's going to go the wrong way losing yardage back at the 42 it's a loss of a yard there and now second down Brandon that play ended so fast it's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage and the offense behind the chains here a touch on second and 11 they'll run it here with Blunt and he'll 
take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And this is going to be incomplete. Kenny Stills, the intended receiver, and now it's fourth down. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. He's going to field this at the four. <laughs> A great return there of 22 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. Now it's the backup, Mariota. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And New York set to take the field. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They're going to look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Jet Football as they've got the lead here and we get set to begin quarter number four. to throw now on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Now a handoff looking right. And a short gain here down to the 22. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They come out here in the eye. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Catton Zero's kick is right through. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. 
So they settled for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. They're going to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. And now they're in the hurry up. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. That one goes for 24 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first and ten, here's Mariota. And Walker with it over the middle. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Delaney Walker, his first touchdown on the year. And the Titans are able to make this a close game again. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. And that'll make it 13-7. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. This will be taken in at the 1. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. It's a 14-yard pickup, but it'll still be second down. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. And at this stage of the game, time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. And they'll run it here. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. 
That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Seven yards remaining here on third down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch it in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, give up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And he motions the wide receiver. They'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It's a gain of seven, and it's a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Back to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before Lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for Lost Yardage. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. The game plan for any defense is finding ways to make a quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket. When you bring pressure from all angles, you never know who's going to get home. In this case, the left cornerback, right in the face of him, puts him down. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Jets are going to win this football game. man through and that's Johnson and he'll be taken down here and that is how this one is going to come to an end. 
Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Jets, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they drop back to 500 now at 4 up and 4 down. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Jets as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.